Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Huda from Tension Free Physics. In this video, we will speak about types of forces. Forces are classified into two categories, contact forces that result from direct contact and field forces that do not need any contact. Saying this, let's begin with the contact forces. The first one is the applied force. The applied force or the attractive force, and as the name indicates, is when an object applies a force on another object. It can be muscular as for humans or engine as for machines. The second contact force is the normal reaction of support. If we place a laptop on the table, the table exerts a force on the laptop that we call the normal reaction of support, which starts from the bottom of the laptop and is directed vertically upwards. If the table is inclined, the normal reaction of support is still perpendicular to the table surface. Don't forget that the normal reaction of support is always perpendicular to the support and away from it. Now consider another contact force, the tension force. The tension force is the force transmitted through a rope or a spring when pulled tight from both ends. Consider a ball that is attached to a rope as shown in the figure. The rope exerts a force on the ball that we call the tension force. This force starts from the contact point between the ball and the rope and is directed along the rope. The last contact force that we will speak about is the force of friction. The force that prevents the sliding of the laptop is the force of friction between the laptop and the surface of the table. The force of friction exists when a body is moving or has tendency of motion on a rough surface. It's always opposite to the direction of motion. We're done with contact forces. Let's jump to field forces. We begin with the weight. Weight is the force of attraction exerted by Earth on objects. It starts from the center of mass of the object and is directed vertically downwards. By vertically downwards, we mean that it points towards the center of the Earth. Let's speak about the second field force, the magnetic force. The magnetic force exists between two magnets or a magnet and magnetic material. Consider an iron box that hangs from a rope. If we place a magnet close to it, the iron box will be attracted to the magnet due to a magnetic force that starts from the center of the box and is directed towards the magnet. Finally, let's speak about the electrostatic force that exists between charged objects. Consider one positively charged ball and another negatively charged ball. If we place them close to each other, they attract due to electrostatic force. If both are positive, they repel due to the electrostatic force. This is everything for this video. May the force be with you.